Well, you're here on a good day. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. Uh, fall is here in Los Angeles, and you can tell it's fall. You can tell it's this morning. I uh, I got up, and uh, the weather is so cold now. Uh, I had to scrape frost off of my windshield, <laughs> and then I realized, oh, it's smog. And then. <laughs> But I love the fall. I've noticed there are certain foods that you see this time of year, like pumpkins and pecan pie and candied yams and baked apples. And, uh, and then I just saw this also. Listen to the freshness. <laughs> These are candy corn Oreos. <laughs> That's a mixture of emotion right there. That started to be excited and then, oh, oh, oh. Usually this color means caution, keep away, but <laughs> somehow this means delicious treat. And it says here that they're artificially flavored. Really? That's weird. I could have sworn I've seen trees of these things just growing in pastures. And one serving contains 12 grams of sugar. One serving, which is two cookies, 12 grams of sugar. OK, here's a bag of sugar. And it has four grams of sugar per serving. That's right. These cookies have more sugar than sugar. It's heavy. So uh, seriously, I mean, I saw this. Do we really need to find new ways to put sugar into kids? If you've flown recently, you know kids are hyper already. They're hyper enough. And I guess original Oreos weren't sweet enough. And you know who's going to love these? Dentists. <laughs> If Oreo wants to help people out, they should fill the center with toothpaste. <laughs> and with Halloween coming up, there's already so much sugar that's going to be out there. I miss the simpler times. When I was little, we'd go trick-or-treating. We'd get things that were good for us. We'd get an apple or a penny or a cigarette. That would be in our bag. <laughs> I love that on the bag, though. It says that this is a limited edition. You see that right there? Limited edition. <clears throat> like they're going to be worth something someday. <laughs> People are going to put them up next to their commemorative plates up there on the. And then these were the Oreos. They made candy corn Oreos. I bought 10 bags. <laughs> it's amazing we have inventors thinking of this stuff. Like somewhere in America, there's a scientist in a lab thinking, you know what we need more of? Candy corn. But food, you know, but food is, is what we know best. So if the Chinese can build a bridge in five days, so what? We figured out how to stuff cheese into the crust of a pizza. Take that. <laughs> Anyway, if you are going to eat these Oreos, I'm not recommending that you do, but if, if you are, a great way to work off this sugar is, of course, with a dance.